Parents, what's something that your kid has done that you pretended to be angry about but secretly impressed or amused you? Story 1. I had a parent-teacher conference in kindergarten because the girl taught me how to French kiss in the treehouse and we got caught. I think my dad was pretty proud. I'm surprised they still let you teach, to be honest. Story 2. When my husband was in second grade, he wrote a poem. The teacher found it, confiscated it, sent it home. His parents had to sit down with him and tell him this was unacceptable language for school. When they tell the story now, they said it was the hardest thing to keep a straight face. They still have the poem saved. When I was young, I had no sense. I took a whiz on an electric fence. It hurt so bad it stung my balls. I took a dump in my overalls. English education major dropout here. A plus on that poem. No notes. Story 3. My brother-in-law was lecturing his daughter about something, and he was in an intense, angry rant. She interrupted him in his yelling to ask, Daddy, can you lift a bear? Situation immediately diffused. That kid's a genius. Story 4. My six-year-old cousin and his buddies decided to call their dodgeball team Snipe so that they could accidentally stand in front of the whole school with their lettered t-shirts spelling out penis. Such a proud mom I was. This is brilliant. Wish I had thought of this earlier. Story 5. When my daughter learns cursive in second grade, she forged my name on a test paper. I made her write an apology to the teacher. The kick was she got 100 on the test. I had a good laugh. Story 6. My five-year-old roommate yelled at his mother, I'm so mad I'm going to poop in your pants. <laughs> That's pretty good. That kid's thinking on the next level. Story 7. Crap, I remember the worst. My daughter loves to compliment people. About a month ago, we were in the mall with my other kids. I was in line getting food for everyone when my daughter ran up to me and yelled, Daddy, I love your penis. It was both horrifying and hilarious, though I'm surprised I didn't get arrested. While holding my then three-year-old daughter at the checkout at the grocery store, she poked me in the boob with her finger and cheerfully said, You have great boobies, Mama. Thanks, kiddo. Story 8. When I was younger, my family and I used to watch a show called Chewin' the Fat, a Scottish sketch show. This was when I was around three or four, and it was the day after a new episode had just come out, so I was eager to use one of my favorite lines on the show from the previous night. Well, it was coming up for nap time, and the nursery teachers were telling everyone to put away their toys and tidy up. I didn't want to tidy up. The teachers, however, did not like this, and told me that if I didn't help, I would have my favorite toy, a transforming Greymon, taken away from me for the day. I was taken aback by such a brutal, unforgiving threat and saw my opportunity to use my favorite line. Frick off, you Nazi cow! My parents were called in. Mother was not pleased. My dad, however, had to leave the room when she told him because he couldn't hold in the laughter. He bought me a toy metal Garurumon. Reading that in a Scottish accent only made it better. Story 9. My daughter, 15, just took up boxing, actual boxing, not boxer size, for fun. On Sunday, when we were playing around sparring in the backyard, she caught me with a right hook that was hard enough to make me see stars for a couple minutes. I'm a 110-kilogram guy, ex-heavyweight, was so impressed and full of love I was speechless. I think my silence was interpreted as rage because she got very apologetic. Also, she does special effects makeup that is gross enough to make people feel queasy. My daughter is pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, that sounds like a pretty friggin' amazing 15-year-old. I was just a drama dork at that age, and your daughter is currently cooler than I am now. Story 10. My son beat up a bully that was picking on him. No, I don't condone physical contact, but the bully swung first, and my son, who is younger, whipped his butt. Story 11. I went to Walmart with my boys and some guy nearly backed over us in the parking lot. It was bad. Stepson was looking everywhere and my hands were full with the baby, so I basically smashed him in the chest with the diaper bag to stop his forward movement. As he's recovering his balance and realizing what happened, the guy is just staring at us like we materialized out of nowhere. And my stepson plants his feet and flips him the double bird. Completely calm, confident, full eye contact, and he held it up there for a good three seconds. The kiddo is normally kind of shy with adults. It was like seeing a glimpse of the man he is going to become. Story 12. One night my wife and I were having a discussion with our 10-year-old daughter about the importance of homework, education, and her future. The subject came up because she was busted lying about her grades. I asked, don't you want to grow up and be successful like me? Her response was, Mom doesn't do anything, and she's got it pretty good. 
Story 13. My son was two years old when he got his first pair of eyeglasses. At first, he resisted wearing them until he realized he could see probably for the first time in his life. A few days into wearing his glasses, I bought home a five-pound bag of individually wrapped chocolates that I was planning on taking to the office in a few days. He had gone upstairs to his toy room, and he was being way too quiet for too long. I went up there, and he was surrounded by wrappers covered in chocolate. Half the bag was gone, and he was so proud of himself. Mommy, I not need help to open them, so I not had to ask. It was the first time he had been able to see where to pull to open the wrappers. I was so happy that he could finally see that I couldn't be angry. I had to tell him that he still needed to ask permission to take the candy, even if he didn't need help opening it anymore. The punishment was his bellyache. Kids lactose intolerant. Knowing the miracle of getting glasses for the first time, this is freaking adorable. I can totally imagine how proud he was. As someone who is also lactose intolerant, I can imagine what eating that many milk chocolates would do. He may have said he didn't need help then, but later I can imagine him being in the bathroom begging for help. Please like and subscribe if you made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 14. My daughter got in trouble in kindergarten for selling pencils to other kids. She was charging kids a quarter. The school charged 50 cents. I was pretty impressed. Story 15. I caught her in the act and was prepared to be angry until I realized that before getting herself one, she had taken two out for her little brother and sister, unwrapped them, and sent them out to the balcony to eat so they wouldn't make a mess. I decided she deserved the ice cream. Story 16. I blocked YouTube on the iPad. I was a little worried my kid might see some stuff on YouTube not intended for a five-year-old. My five-year-old found a workaround by starting up Angry Birds, clicking on the Angry Birds cartoon, then browsing to his favorite YouTuber using the voice search function. I have to say, that's brighter than most adults I've seen. He dealt with bypassing password protection and his own inability to write using the speech function. That's amazing. Dang, I probably wouldn't have thought of that. Smart kid you got. Story 17. My nine-year-old son called me into his room because he had a monster in his closet. I tell him he's too old for that kind of thing and to go back to sleep. He pleads with me to check. I open the door and turn on the light. Staring back at me is some scruffy-looking thing with angry eyes, and I scream. It was a mirror. I'm trying to see if I'm having a heart attack, and he's laughing his troll butt off. I'm proud of his cleverness, but considered if he were too old to be left on someone's doorstep. Maybe he's not a troll. Maybe he's struggling with existential problems. Maybe we really are monsters. A child at nine years old? Yeah, I'm gonna say chances are that kid is indeed a monster. But a damned clever one, so kudos to him. Story 18. Okay, so not my kid, but my significantly younger sibling. When she was a young toddler, the family was out to dinner and she accidentally dropped her fork on the ground. As a reflex that she undoubtedly picked up from her mom, she shouted out, Crap! Clearly the entire restaurant heard her. My mom was mortified and immediately tried to repair the situation. No, no, baby, that's not what we say. What do we say? She responded. I assume hoping for an uh-oh or an oops or maybe even a sorry. But my sister took a moment to think this one through. She dug down deep in her recollection of what mommy would say in that situation and responded with a clear and resounding frick. Story 19. My daughter accidentally said crap. It was just a combo of two words that smushed together to create this curse. I told her it was okay, I was there, and I knew the context. She got so upset with herself, she punished herself by sending herself to bed. None of my assurances made her feel okay about what she had done. When I was little, I used her love rhyming words, so I decided to say, muck, luck, buck, frick. As soon as I said it, apparently I put my hands up to my mouth and started bawling. Story 20. One time, my little brother said frick, and my mom gave him the speech about how we aren't supposed to use those words because they hurt some people, and maybe the parenting joke about having to wash his mouth out with soap. Fast forward 15 minutes, and my mom finds him in the bathroom, silently sobbing as he put tiny amounts of soap in his mouth and brushes it with his toothbrush. My mom has never been scarily threatening, and she broke down in tears that my little brother had taken her words so seriously. On the plus side, my brother has never sworn again. How is that a plus side? Swearing is great. Sure, I might avoid it here on YouTube, but in my personal life, rest assured, I string together curse words like an old pro. Story 21. 
I have twins. The boy is a perfectly normal kid. The girl is developmentally delayed due to autism. She doesn't really know how to communicate. For example, if he wakes up first, he just yells at us to let him out of their room. If she wakes up first, she just sits quietly until someone comes in. Well, on their third birthday, they got a lot of sweet toys. The toys were in the living room so that it wasn't a distraction at bedtime. The following morning, she woke up and wanted to play with her new dolls, but she didn't know how to get our attention to open the door. But she knows her brother can get the door open, so she grabs a Nerf hammer Thor's from the Avengers. She then just starts beating her brother in the head with it until his cries send me running to the room. As soon as I open the door, she drops the hammer and runs past me laughing straight to her new toys. Sociopathic maybe, but dang clever. Keep an eye on her. Pretty smart at problem solving so far. Story 22. My parents found out that my brother in sixth grade was selling nicotine-free vape pens to people at his school, basically just flavored ones. In order to do this, he would use his money to buy prepaid credit cards from a local Walmart buy them online under a fake name, and then have it shipped to our house where he would pick it up before anyone saw it. I think he made like 200 bucks off it. My parents were a mix of angry and impressed. Future drug dealer, super successful drug dealer, or stock market. Let's go with stocks because it is a kid after all. Dude is going places. Story 23. In sixth grade, my daughter was friends with a boy who had a lot of feminine characteristics. My daughter initially got to know him because the rule in their school was that they had to remain at the table they sat at on the first day. This boy had no friends and had been sitting at the end of their table. Gradually, the girl got to know him and he was taken into their group. While many were accepting of him wearing pink clothes and nail polish, some were not. One day, I got a call from the disciplinary superintendent at the school. He said, Ms. Potato is a fruit, I want to preface what I'm going to say by telling you that I am obligated to call about any situation where physical violence is involved. My heart sank. But that I am by no means encouraging you to punish your daughter. He went on to tell me that one of the boys known for bullying this particular young man had pushed him down a small flight of stairs at the school. My daughter was so angry that she ran up to the bully and kicked him as hard as she could in the shin. She did have to apologize to the boy she kicked. We did talk about never lashing out physically no matter how angry we were, but I was so proud of her for defending her friend. She did have to apologize to the boy she kicked. Okay, today we're going to learn about the non-apology apology. Honestly, good on your daughter. As a guy who wears nail polish and pink clothes, I really appreciate people like your daughter standing up for others. Violence isn't great, I guess, but I still smiled when I read that. Story 24. My two-and-a-half-year-old climbed over a chain-link fence to go into the neighbor's yard to get a ball. Story 25. I was once play wrestling with my nephew, and once the three-year-old had me pinned, it turned to name-calling, such as stupid face and dumb head. Then my sister chimes in and says, don't call names. Then this boy looks at me and says, names. Literally, he just called me names. The punk. My youngest brother wasn't allowed to use insults with face or head included since he was quite a name caller. He started calling people face head afterwards. Story 26. I got an Xbox One on the weekend and after finally setting it up, I sat down to play and my one-year-old toddled over and stood up and promptly switched it off and then came over, held up a book. Okay, okay. Message received. We'll read a book. Story 27. My eight-year-old girl was being bullied by two boys at her school. She took them both down, put one in a chokehold briefly, and the other kid ran. Surprise, B, she's been doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu since she was five. Anyway, she came home and told me she took both boys out. When I looked at her in astonishment, she said, Don't worry, though, I did it on the grass and not the concrete. I was amused and hella impressed. A year later, and she is now best friends with one of the boys. He now has a new fetish. That eight-year-old sounds like a total bad A. And hey, sounds like she set that boy straight and helped him become a little better. Good work, kid. Story 28. Oh God, the stories I could tell about my niece. When she was three or four, she was visiting my parents and dad took her for a drive. Some D-bag cuts him off in traffic, so he yells, Dong sucker! out the window. About a block ahead, still behind the guy, he's almost through the intersection when he hears the back window roll down. A few seconds later, and my niece sticks her fist out the window, starts shaking it at the car ahead, and screams, Dong sucker! as loud as she can. Classy dad. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.